We're preparing for a hurricane. It's supposed to hit really, really bad this weekend. Doing everything we possibly can to take care of the boat. And my friend who lives down in the Keys has decided to evacuate the Keys. The issue with this is if we leave the boat or if they leave the Keys, a lot of times they won't let us come back. So we're kind of forced to just do what we can. Some of us have really learned the protocol, like how to handle these situations. This explains why I was guided to make that video recently that was 10 minutes long explaining how important it is for you to go ahead and stock up on your non-perishables. A lot of us are experiencing some really unique things and I think it's interesting that we're not in Mercury retrograde. However, I'm pretty sure we might be in Pluto retrograde. I could be wrong though, so anyone that's educated in the gyroscopic procession, please leave it in the comments what's going on with the astronomy. Even if you read the astrological charts from an Ayurvedic um, standpoint, tropical, idea, Ayurvedic, please <sighs> provide us with information so we have an awareness. DJ Kitty Scratch, I have a feeling that you might even be able to leave in the comments some information. However, I know that there's people on here who have this education so please make your voice known do not be afraid to stand out please plant your seed understand your power to help set your intentions of sharing your love your energy we can come together in our humanity come together by sharing our resources our information just by set like setting the intention of sharing the truth i was guided um how important it is for us to gather food. Think about it. Joe Rogan is hunting for his own food. Ted Nugent. Think about it. They're learning how to live off the land. And then Texas, you know, has a lot of different laws, especially when it comes to gun rights, etc. I promise you, Joe Rogan has been informed of what's going to happen. This is all being divinely orchestrated. This is biological warfare. Notice how terrorism went away. This is bioterrorism. I would highly recommend you to read the book Psychopolitics. This stuff would make you really, really sick, and I understand that a lot of you would just rather not know. So if that's the case, simply just notice to the signs that God's giving you. For us, we lost our anchor this morning. So that's showing me that we can't settle down. We can't anchor you. We got to be light. That's my message from God. Second thing I got is my air conditioning is busted. Before this, my hot water heater wasn't working. To me, that says prepare to be uncomfortable. My mother, her refrigerator just busted. Symbolism to me also of showing the importance of stocking up on non-perishables. My mother, unfortunately, lost $150 worth of groceries. So if you can, keep us in your prayers. Keep us all in your prayers, not just my family. Pray for the world. Set your intention. Set an orb of energy around the earth. Maybe surround yourself with just a mirror and protect yourself. Remove the entities. Please understand what is happening in the unseen world. I know how much you wish that God... Or all this energy isn't real. I understand. Some of you who have excessively strong faith, they're like, I don't wish that, right? I love God. I feel you too, okay? Just know that there are so many. And as we step into this revelations energy, you know, the mark of the beast isn't just the RFIDs that are being set to change our DNA inside these vaccinations, Okay? I believe that we no longer need RFIDs, that we can be manipulated by just the computer. Like the computer, it's like the matrix where this can be uploaded into our brain. 
Did you know that the movie Exorcist and that the movie The Matrix come from people who are connected to the CIA? There's a war on consciousness. This stuff makes me so sick as a shaman. Okay? I get that purging feeling. And I understand what needs to happen. And it's all part of the divine plan. However, you have to do your part. And I don't mean that your part is to hurt yourself or others. This is not the truth. I highly recommend everyone to get with Teresa Crabtree. She will communicate with you what's going on as far as entities and counsel you through this process, especially if you have inner child wounds. You'll know if that resonates with you. If you have any resistance, simply just notice it. If you're in denial, if you have entities and you're immediately angry and fighting Teresa, try to notice that, you know, because if you didn't have entities, maybe you would be more open just to hear from her. Oh, you don't have any entities. However, I have had times where someone had, you could say a block up, you know, I don't know how else to explain these narratives to you. However, if you would like to see where you're at, I'm really good at allowing you to receive communication from me where I can be translator. I can have you close your eyes and have you notice all the different imprints of energy. I'm a very strong empath, so if you let me in on a soul energetic level and we have a video chat or something like that, I can help you meet your angels, your guides, and reconnect back to God's source. My father also recently got into a car accident and he lost his truck which is like very vital for his business. I'm also experiencing gang stalking. So are many people that I love. I have been in direct communication with my higher self and doing my best to work for source I like to jokingly say I work for the man upstairs. However, anyone that's done ayahuasca would know and understand just a little bit deeper. And um, I'm very touched and mesmerized and blessed. I'm very fortunate to have had these experiences so that I can have this deeper awareness. Now, I would also encourage you to stay away from drugs and alcohol. Even marijuana, I understand all these medical conditions. However, I do not believe that suppressing the symptoms are appropriate because it just causes the anger, the depression, the anxiety, the PTSD to just express itself a little further. It would be appropriate for you to have a proper guide. So I know a lot of you have been drawn to psychedelic mushrooms, lysergic acid, and you guys have just been going, yee <laughs> you know? on these journeys and um, I have extreme compassion for you. All I can do is hold space and set the intention For you to receive loving, kindness, healing, respect, unity, and understanding. I also have to state the message that the light has already won. So hopefully you can open yourself up to receive this information. That does not mean that ye of little faith will not experience some suffering at this time. You can feel the energy and know already 
what is not making you light as a feather and what is holding you back from expanding the wings on your back and flying up to the heavens. It's very easy to get right with God. Very easy. The unconditional love is there. I will be more than happy to assist you in your process. It's kind of my specialty. It's very important the things that are about to happen, that they happen. And some people might lose their faith in God because they do not understand. However, also people can set the intentions. It's on a vibrational level. It's in your DNA, inside your genetic code. Your fear coils the DNA up inside of you and causes you to disconnect. However, love opens you up. There's just so much trauma and epigenetic memory and pain and suffering. I'm afraid that no narratives could ever allow you to completely comprehend all the things that I'm saying, unless we could have a private ceremony, private session together. I've had visions of some of you working with psychedelic mushrooms and calling me on video chat. If you have these sacred medicines and you are called to do that, I will be more than happy to provide service as a minister. This is your Dudas Priestess, Reverend of the Church of the Latter-day Dude, telling you to keep it cool. Chill out, man. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Heal yourself. And as you heal in you, you heal seven generations forward, seven generations back. So if you embody the frequency right now and reclaim your divinity, cut the cords, cut the cords, check in with all of your body. Are your feet even all the way on the ground or on your tippy toes? Okay, just notice these things. Are your legs crossed? Are you folded up? Or are you open and expansive? Do you feel sick? Do you feel nauseous? Are you sensitive to the energy of, that is expressing itself right now? Check in with yourself. If this message has helped you in any way, perhaps you can send a small donation of the number 13. If you can afford to add a few more zeros, more power to you. However, I do not believe that money is going to be of value anymore. I believe we will switch to a credit system. They will be point systems. And I believe that we will lose points for doing different things. There's a lot of people that have um, warned us of these things. Aldous Huxley. Why do you think he knew these things? Because he's part of creating it. If you can take some time to understand psychology. Or perhaps listen to the audiobook that is free on YouTube right now. Of Thinking Fast and Slow. <laughs> For some of you that's not really going to do anything. Some of you will just be interested. And will want to keep yourself busy. I am certainly concerned especially anyone that has actually read the documentation of Agenda 21, completely understanding the human settlement zones. If you look at other countries, it will help for you to have an awareness. Look at China. I know you want to look away, but there's concentration camps there. They did the same thing here with the immigrants. Next, you could say it might be with the white people, okay? They believe that if there is no more segregation or different races, if we are all hybrids, that there will not be so many fighting and separation. This is called eugenics. I also found out that Anthony Fossey his wife is like the head leader of human experimentation. Just 
Just something to think about. How about Bill Gates and his father being the creator of Planned Parenthood? <sighs> Elon Musk and his grandfather being the creator or leader of technocracy. Some of you know these things and still just keep yourselves so busy instead of seeing the power to come together with family. I can be your family. If you would let me and you would open yourself up to me and tell me your struggles, your strife, and let me counsel you and be there for you, I would like to do that. Instead of you trying to teach me something or make me change my thoughts and the way that I behave and think, give me freedom. I do the same for you. It's your choice to listen to me at this time. I do hope that this message has benefited you. And if I may leave you with some final words, I would say I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And I hear a scripture coming from God's source. Above all else, guard your heart, because everything you do flows from it. I have heard from others that they believe that King James was a Freemason, and that in the Freemason, excuse me, in the King James version of the Bible, that there is a handshake. And it has the Freemason handshake with the thumb. And they had also mentioned how King James was a pedophile. And they had mentioned how they are pushing the agenda of polyamory. Pushing the agenda of everyone being bisexual and asexual. That's why there is atrazine being sprayed into the food. This is what... Alex Jones was doing when he was in the frog suit saying they're turning the frogs gay they're turning the frogs gay they're not turning the frogs gay they're messing with the genetics of the frogs turning them the frogs can change from male to female kind of like the clownfish from my understanding and atrazine has been shown as a pesticide sprayed on the organic foods even yes um from my understanding not all of them, okay? Some farmers really put their love and intention into the food and understand a deeper awareness of the stuff, okay? And then, um, so this person was basically saying that the Bible is like, it's like a plan, if that makes sense. They were trying to say that, like, it was on purpose. Like, every little thing was on purpose so that people would, like, you know be really freaked out as it's happening you know something else i noticed and i'm not saying that that's my belief system okay it was just a thought right and i was like hmm so i read this amazing part of the bible that i thought was very interesting it had said that those of us who follow christ that when jesus died on the cross we died on the cross too and when jesus was reborn we were reborn too, okay? The timeline is dropping to zero. Please look into Terrence McKenna. Please understand that time travel is real. Please understand what is happening. Please understand how important it is for you to just be a loving, kind, gentle, quiet, peaceful individual. I do not support clover gender. I do not support bestiality. Please, I don't know how else to point this out to you aside from you maybe taking a look at Snapchat, Instagram. They had mask on there, an animal mask at that, right? I also believe in epigenetic memory. I believe that our ancestors definitely made love to like chickens and pigs, sheep goats i definitely believe that i also believe that our ancestors also um they didn't really know that when you touch things that you absorb its dna and its information 
and that your gene codes change. I believe that's why also this social distancing is happening as well. There's so much happening. Social distancing also happens in China way before the coronavirus. It goes down to what's called sesame credit or social credit. There's a TV show called Black Mirror. Black Mirror is another... I want to call it psychological warfare. Okay, it's predictive programming though. So please be aware. Please. Our phones are black mirrors. The matrix is real. We are being like manipulated. The phones know where our eyes are looking on the screen. If you have an official website, you can literally pay someone to tell you where are people's eyes going on the page? What part of your website is getting the most attention? Okay, that's one way you can look up for yourself. You can manipulate the weather. You can go to Miami Airport right now and go to rainonrequest.com and go say, hey, I'd like to pay $100,000 and make it not rain on my wedding day. Or if you're like me and be like, hey, can we make it rain on my wedding day? (laughs) So I can make out with my partner in the rain (laughs) and be lifted up and carried. (laughs) So... I understand people do not understand and still my heart is so open and I leave this message with the intention of sincerely leaving you love and affection. And again, I ask for my freedom. I'm guided that um, it may be time to sell my mermaid tails and to start new. I'd also like to be performing ceremonies with my sound healing and more cambo ceremonies. So if the medicine is calling you, please do not be shy or hesitant. I am open to traveling, okay? I'm very open to traveling, especially if you're willing to cover gas and possibly the rental car fee. I mean, just listen to your body, your intuition. Only you know what kind of financial position you are in right now. However, I also believe that this is being divinely orchestrated to make everyone into hysteria. I also would enjoy for you to look up, it's called happy tillism. It's kind of like capitalism, happy tillism. There's a website called um, unnwo.org. United Nations New World Order.org. Okay. They've been changing this website around a lot. The computer right now is listening to this and is taking this data. So be mindful of that too. A lot of different stuff going on. I wish there was more that I could do. I would just give, 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 give all that I can. (sighs) However, it's best that I don't do that. So I'm sending out giant red X's. And I'm setting my intentions. And if I had a rosary, I would be holding that deer right now. And I would ask you to say prayers. If you can dedicate an hour a day of prayers, not just saying please and asking things for yourself, you could be saying thank you and witness every single other person as you. So if you see someone getting a kiss, say thank you. Oh my God, that kiss looks so sweet. (laughs) Kiss is so sweet. And then... um. There's one more thing that came up. Let me see if I can reaccess it. Oh, I got it. That silence really just shows you how important this is. The intention would be for your prayers for God to have mercy. God, have mercy. You pray for God. God, please have more strength. God, please have more mercy. God, please have some compassion. God, please bring your strength and your power inside of my heart and around us. Please be with me. Be with us. Please, 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 please see what's happening. Please, my will is for you to not let this illusion exist any longer. Please, my Lord, allow me to see the truth. Please, my Lord, allow the whole world to have the freedom that it was intended instead of a society being built where we are controlled and manipulated by something called money. 
Please, my Lord, let me see the value of my own soul. You have to mean it. It's a prayer in your closet, inside your heart. It is not, you can say it out loud so your body can hear it. Especially if you can be in a room in silence, like, you know, where no one else can hear you. I don't think that you fully understand why this is important. Like, it's your faith. It's like, I can't explain it. But if it's in just your mind and in your heart, yes, the computer is reading you. So be mindful of that. Don't trust those omens. However, you can set your own intentions. Okay, God, if I see a red cardinal, let that represent my ancestors. Or my Lord, if I see a yellow car within the next three minutes, please like, let that be my sign that you're existing and you're listening to my prayer. They said, make it specific, make it custom for you. So that when it happens, you believe. But do not deny, you know? I like to do other things like, um, okay, let me receive a phone call at 323. I'm just using that as an example, okay? These are just a bunch of examples, just a lot of playful energy. Please know that I love you very, very much. And time and energy is completely priceless. No amount of money can get like buy me more time and energy right now i can buy freedom but i don't think that's going to last again i'm guided for us all to have a bug out bag to really know how to survive off the land to know how to really get along with each other to know really how to communicate um, i've also been tweeting some things about how to heal from being bullied i believe we have all been bullied and we all react in different ways. Some of us become the bully and we become fighters and we become defensive, separated on our own, totally content on our own, right? God did not intend us to be this way. If it was so, it would just be us, yes? But look how many of us there are. This is all part of the plan, all part of the healing. I do not believe that we are overpopulated. Not at all. I believe that there are just select human settlement zones as stated before. And that this causes great deal of illusion. I'm going to get out of here and give myself permission to go ahead and take a shower. I have a lot ahead of me for today. Please keep me in your prayers and your intentions. Yesterday, I had cried and received my first ticket. Oh, my hair tie just broke. Oh, I was speeding. I'm thanking God for giving me the break that I did. However, I have a $150 bill to pay now. And I'm lucky if I'll make that in a weekend at Casadega. So I've been doing my best to set my intentions and let you know, please, $2 per minute, please book me, please, 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 we can do phone call, video chat, please, set up with me, I'm not asking you to just give to me, if you can afford to give more power to you, if you're guided by God to do some tithing with me, just know that, like, I give so much. And, like, I'm not here to boast about that, you know? I don't really want to explain myself. However, I have been guided by God how important it is for me to make my investments that I have been doing. I've been supporting a lot of private businesses, going to flea markets, and just doing what I can to help the little people that God has guided me. And now I'm guided that I have to put in the inner work and read more scriptures, more meditation, I am offering guided meditations. If you are having anxiety or depression, please get with me. If you cannot afford the $2 per minute, ask yourself if you can do a dollar per minute or 50 cents per minute. What can you afford? Please communicate. Tell me where you are at. Maybe you can only afford $100 a month to work with me. Perhaps you can do more and you're lying. <laughs> These are things only you will know. Trust your feelings. I know so many of you have been conditioned to not trust your feelings. Please. 
Now, if I have one wish for me, just one, I wish for love. I wish to be held. And I don't want to just be held by somebody who just wants to hold me and keep me for themselves. I do not want to be prisoner. I'm looking for freedom, true unconditional love. However, I do not want someone who's going to not care that I'm free in the world and that there's no one holding me at night. I'm looking for someone that I love back, that I want to hold on to, that I would like to cuddle and kiss. I've experienced such amazing transfers of energy from being held by gentlemen and kissed by gentlemen. My little girl heart cannot forget what love really feels like, that true unconditional love of just someone who gives freely, not because they want to be loved in return. I believe that to be a transactional relationship. And I understand that we live in this society where it's cheaper to live with somebody and to split the bills 50-50 and to feed two people instead of one. I know that. So much food has gone wasted since I have stepped out of being codependent because I make food and like I can't always eat it all. This is where it comes in where I like to feed the homeless or to give the food back to the earth, at least let the bugs benefit from it. Please know if we are all alone, we are all together in that too. So I know I'm not the only one yearning for this cuddling and this loving. So if you have this energy within you and you have anybody that you can hold, even if it's your mama, you feel me? Go give your mama a hug. Put your head on the side of your mom's left ear and come heart to heart. Maybe put your arms underneath her arms and then touch the back of her heart. Really center that Shakti pot, that love, that electricity. Shakti pot. S H A K T I P A T. Shakti pot. Okay? Guru. G U R U. Can you be yourself? Can you ru your gu? Gu is darkness. Ru is remover. Please. G U R U. Do your homework. Take your time. God is guiding you. If you just surrender to the innate intelligence inside of you, you will always know, why do I want to get out of my car and go take a shower right now? What is guiding me? Why is it right now? Why is there this itch? Test. Listen. Sometimes you are possessed by other entities, though, so please be mindful of this. So many of you just do not know the difference. Again, Teresa Crabtree will really, really help as much as you allow. However, if it's not resonating, don't force yourself either. Just simply notice. You'll know if her name is talking to you. You will know if it's talking to you for me to receive a dollar or something from you. I'm very appreciative of you. Many of you females have surprised me so much and show me so much respect and kindness that I am just not used to from women. And I would like to have more of this sisterhood. And I would like for us to be more of mothers to all of God's children. And I would enjoy to see all of the men be the father that some of them had never had. So if you can have compassion instead of being um, waffly or flaky or non-emotional or non-involved. I do believe that there are great differences that could come of this. All right, it's time for me to take my shower. I have given more than enough of my time and energy that I can never get back, and I highly doubt I'll receive a dollar for every minute that I've put into. Even if it was just a dollar for every view. Imagine that, man. Imagine that. <laughs> for some of you, right, I'd have a thousand dollars because some of you have watched a thousand of my videos. <sighs> I'm doing my best not to give up, okay? Thank you so much for those of you who are sending me prayers, energy, and support. I'm very thankful for you. Very, very thankful for you. 
I'll be making a new Instagram post very soon. It's just going to take some time for me to write. I'm about to be coming up on my one month clean from marijuana. Feels good not to have any uh, mind alterations besides the chemicals in the food, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, when we go out to eat, we can't really uh, have control over the food. And um, I'm just grateful to be having food right now, okay? Imagine if they close all the grocery stores. What would you do then? That's why I always tell you, be smart, man. Be smart. Do what you can. God will guide you does not hurt and also know that sometimes it's not always for yourself like god guided me to buy a a lazarus candle i don't even know who lazarus is and i found out about um healing i'm still i still don't really know who lazarus is okay let's just be honest maybe you should leave in the comments some education for me because i haven't had any time to sit still and listen or read should i say um i have all this energy and um, I need to get it out. I might need to exercise and really build myself up. That's another thing, you guys. Work out, man. Do push-ups. Really prepare yourself to be able to be on the move, to walk. Okay? Get in your body. Get comfortable. Maybe listen to the soul while you're not comfortable in your body. Or maybe you're the opposite. Maybe you're too active and you can't chill in your body. Maybe you should listen to this stuff, too. Again, if you open yourself up to me, I will help. Like... God is with me, okay? Some of you can feel and know this. However, you have free will. And you might be able to notice that you don't really need me. Maybe just for, like, a moment I can help out, you know? However, understand the bigger picture. I choose to walk with God. And I choose to have a partner that chooses to walk with God with me. I choose to be on this path. I choose to connect to the Ascended Masters. I choose this path for myself. And I choose to find a partner who walks with me on this journey. I have been so lonely my entire life, even though I have been surrounded by people forever. It's been very painful to exist and Suffer in the ways that I have, which all have been in the mind. So if I could have any messages to the youth, I would say, please, protect your mind. Use your imagination. Imagine great outcomes. Because what you focus on, what you believe, will become your reality. It's about you becoming the vibration. Nikola Tesla teaches so much about this. Nikola Tesla has been one of my greatest teachers and guides in my life. Sometimes I wish I had some books from him. I'm guided by God how important it is for me to read more. Perhaps if this video resonated with you and you can afford to send a small donation, perhaps in the comment box you could say, read a little for me. Or something like a cute note to encourage me to do more readings. Okay? However, don't do that if your intention is like you're sending the payment because you want to have a reading for me, you know? So if you're going to send a $2 per minute thing or a dollar per minute, 50 cents per minute, Leave in the comments. Make sure I know. Say, like, thank you, Reiki Master. Thank you. My intention is this. Like, make it clear so I know. And um, know that I'm counting every donation, quote donation, right? Every, every, every payment is counting as income towards Trina Medicine. So please know this. Please know this. Please know that I am doing everything as professional as possible and that my intention is only to open up a facility and in order to do that, I'm going to need I'm going to need some drastic changes to this universe. However, I do not feel um, there's not much we can do. I'm not saying that um, we need to attack Bill Gates or Anthony Fossey and his wife. I'm not saying any of that. I don't think that that's going to change anything. I think that would cause backlash. I think that if you even have a thought of trying to stop what they're doing, that you'll be gang stalked. Please understand what gang stalking is. It's not just a person chasing you. This is done through the computer, through artificial intelligence, through fake accounts, messing with your mind on purpose. 
I would encourage you just to get away from the internet as much as possible if I could, to be honest. And reconnect to God's source. Maybe sitting on the earth and saying, thank you. It's been really nice of you to hold me. It's been really nice to be here. If you can get with a shaman, I would suggest that also. Again, you can reach out to me and I can like do like personal diagnosis. Like for you, I think you should, uh, you should like, yeah, you got this PTSD. Maybe we should do a cambo cleanse. And then after doing your cambo cleanses, like maybe three of them that, um, then you can work with psilocybin, you know? There's like an integration process. You know what I noticed recently is a lot of cops are actually like pretty hot. <laughs> like, why is that? Why do all the like these good looking men become police officers? You guys want to be a, like, is that just like a new age thing? Cause like, I don't, I don't remember officers ever uh, being really attractive. Oh, this guy's a diver. <laughs> uh, that's also something that came to mind like maybe I should have a partner who's like really really like into the water like me or like at least he'll treat me like I'm his mermaid princess right and always make sure that I'm like in the tropical islands or like in Peru and like going through the jungle and being like Tarzan you know please know who I am please I'm calling in my like life partner to drown me in kisses and to brush my hair and to Treat me like he would treat our daughter <laughs> so that I feel comfortable to have a daughter. However, again, there's some fear with the way the world is going right now and I'm in no rush. However, I also know that like, you know, like pregnancy right now is only going to happen if it's really meant to happen, you know? I know some people that are pregnant right now and I send them my blessing and, um, I'm, I'm doing what I can, man. Doing what I can. I'm very, very excited for the future because I also feel like, again, the light is already won. Like, I feel like this God source light is, like, coming down, okay? <laughs> I feel it. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Especially the more that I allow it, you know what I mean? That the more that I'm like, please, God, come closer, or, <laughs> like, all that energy. Ugh. I can feel those, like, energies of those people that are like, ah, oh, shut up about God, you know? That just makes me want to talk more about it, you know? I'm hearing the energy of taking up the cross, okay? I've been tweeting about this stuff, and I've been having, like, some biblical teachers that have been very helpful to me. All right, y'all, I'm, like, completely dying in this hot car. I'm going to go take a shower, prepare myself for this drive, prepare myself for what lays ahead of me, and um, I'm going to sit in some meditation. Maybe do some yoga. Hope on a Jabba Guan. Namaste. Hush, hush, oosh, oosh, oosh.